Okay, what we think is uh, what's going on in Syria is the greater conspiracy of American greed, imperialism, and dominance. Their lies were exposed in Iraq, and now they're using the same pretext, the same lie, to invade Syria. And we all know it's about American greed, American dominance. It's by all means criminal intent, and America is the biggest bully in the world, and it needs to be stopped. Our people should not die because America wants to control all pipelines and all gas lines and the five seas of the world. Syria should not have to pay the price for American greed and American ambition to control the whole world. It's not an ambition. It's greed for dominance. It's criminal. It's offensive. It's aggressive. And somebody needs to stop them and they need to stop this war on Syria right now. We know about the conspiracy. They lied about Iraq, and then they apologized. They said we got the wrong information. I have news for Obama. He has the wrong information right now, and he's covering up for it. He's accusing the Syrian regime, but the Syrian regime did not do that. We do not kill our own people. The Syrian army is made of our children, of our nephews, of our cousins. They do not kill each other. We don't kill our children. It's the mercenaries, the terrorists, that were handpicked, paid for, released from prison to come and kill my family and my people and destroy my land. They were released from Saudi Arabia prisons, from Yemen prisons, from all prisons all over the world. A bunch of criminals and cannibals who ripped the heart of our soldier and ate it. And this is the most inhumane, the most war crime, that, that, that's the, the most heinous war crime in the whole world. Thank you.